for? We've been exploring this for over a year now. So the first contact happened to us in, uh, what did they, they told me this yesterday, May uh, 2019. And so we did some investigating, of course. And in fact, um, we had our second campus visit in mid-March on the Tuesday. And then on the Saturday is when the executive orders all came into play and everyone went home. So yes, we were looking at this before uh, COVID came along. And once we sorted out COVID and got that uh, up and running for dining, we then realized that this is a service that could uh, help us deliver a program during COVID. So, Yeah, pre-pandemic, yeah. this was really envisioned to be launched um, sometime late spring of 2020. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, everything kind of um, was at a standstill for a little bit. Like Harry said, we had some other pressing issues to sort out with our students and how we continue to provide service in the pandemic. So, so a student will go to uh, their favorite app and download Starship Food Delivery app. Um, they then open up the app and then they will select uh, Oregon State University from the list of places they operate. They then go into the app. They uh, place a pin on the campus map, which is the delivery area that they will see. They then place a pin where they want that order to be delivered. Um, they then select a restaurant to order from. They order the food and the beverages or whatever it is they want. Um, they then add it to their cart. Uh, they then check out. And at the checkout, they can choose currently uh, dining plan or campus cash or orange cash. Um, hopefully in the future, in the few, about beginning of the year, we will have credit cards available as well. And they just uh, load in their information and push, uh, place the order. And then the order will come to our restaurants or the restaurant of their choice that they chose. We'll make the food. Um, we will place it in the robot. They will get a notification that their food is being made, um, that their food is ready and it is in the robot. And then when we send the robot off to deliver the food, they will get notified about that and they can actually sit and track the robot on their map as it comes to where they are. Um, when it gets pretty close, it'll give you a notification that says your robot is close, please go and meet it. You go down to where you want it, robot turns up, you push another button that unlocks the lid. So the lid is locked throughout the process. Um, and you grab your order, you close the lid, you say you've got the order and you've closed the lid and the robot sometimes will tell you thank you and turn around and off it'll go. Students who are used to Grubhub and Uber Eats, no problem. The, uh, the footprint of campus. So there is a little bit of included they got caption in it, um, but basically it's the footprint of campus. So if you open up the map, you'll see the area. Yeah, that you'll notice it's the fine. perimeter of main <clears throat> campus. Currently there are 20, um, but we're currently in discussions for 10 more. We looked at our mix and, and kind of food and art as to which ones would be best. Um, but then a colleague of mine who had the robots before I did and at another university um, kind of went from the philosophy, which I kind of agreed to, is like the restaurant you don't put on is the restaurant they're going to want. So go with it and put everything on it. So uh, hopefully middle of next week, we will basically have all UHDS and all currently open um Murph's food service restaurants on the app. It is a, a partnership and a collaboration with MU Food Retail Services. So places like Dixon Cafe, um, which one of the Java's carry? Uh, Java, Java Stop. Java Stop. So Dixon Cafe and Java Stop are currently included in the mix with the hope that we can kind of continue to grow so that we have options all across campus, not just in UHCS facilities. Yeah, and then when that's campus that's gets that. back to normal and there's more people on campus and the facilities within their academic buildings open, uh, they will make the choice as to whether they're going to add those or not as well. 
we obviously want to serve the students, especially those that are on campus currently, but we know that there's faculty and staff on campus. And um, as that credit card piece rolls out, that will probably open it up more to folks. But anyone with an OSU ID card can have an Orange Cash account. So we want to make sure that we're serving everybody who wants to be able to use the, the service. If you look at where facilities are going to go out by 30, uh, 50, uh, no, 35th out there in their new facility, you know, that's kind of away from food service. Um, and so if they don't bring their own lunch and they want something, they're going to have to get in their vehicle, either come to campus, find parking, uh, go downtown. So from a vehicle use point of view, they now have the ability to order order food up via the robot and the robot will come out to them and bring it to them out there at the 35th and West in there. Very successful. Um, we started off doing around 60 to 100 orders a day uh, towards the end of last week. Um, we broke, I think they said, well, we were Tuesday night, we did 281 orders. So it's been very successful. Um, and potentially the need for more robots is because our late night demand is pretty heavy and they had a, um, there's some bottlenecks that are occurring and the ability to get orders through on the late night. So that's what we're looking at the moment.